Hi guys, Heather Ballantyne here. So today I'm headed to meet some of the most successful entrepreneurs out there. They're my clients and friends, and they've agreed to share their knowledge and insight about business with us. So I'm so excited to share these chats with you. This is Heather Ballantyne with Entrepreneur Showcase. So we recently met through a mutual friend yeah. and um, I was super excited because I don't get a lot of female clients, right? Yeah. So, um, and you are quite the client. You <laughs> have built this empire and you're very smart, obviously beautiful, successful. You own a Lambo, but it didn't start like that, right? No, it definitely didn't. So I'm basically a real estate broker in Toronto and I specialize in pre-construction. So what that means is essentially I sell both end users and investors, condos, townhomes, and single family detached before they're built. So when there's only floor plans available and nothing physical to touch, feel, and see, so because of that, we have a beautiful presentation gallery, like the one that we're sitting in, yeah, where, wow. where potential clients can come in and see the model suite, visualize what they're buying, look at the vision behind the master plan community, and so forth. Okay, Sahar, so this is, this is what it's gonna look like when it's done? Yeah, so essentially in pre-construction, like I was saying, there's nothing to touch, fill, and see. So what builders do is they build a presentation gallery such as this one. Mm -hmm. And this is what's called a scale model to really show you um, the vision behind the community and what it's going to look like. So in this case, this is going to be at Dauphin and DuPont. There's going to be eight towers. It's going to comprise wow. of 3,000 units. 300,000 square feet of retail space, a brand new eight acre green park. It's gonna have a 95,000 square feet community center, um, skating, basketball, all wow. those things, cycling infrastructure. So this really allows people to see the vision behind the community yeah. that they're purchasing into. And when you have the tens of millions of uh, dollars going in by public and private entities, it really allows the purchasers to benefit from that growth in value as time goes on. And so 3,000 units, is that what you said? Yes. Will those all be pre-sold? Like yes, so we're basically on phase three right now. So when you think about a master plan community, this is a 10-year vision. So this is not all happening today, mm -hmm. but we basically did the first two towers two years ago. We did um, the third tower, we launched it in the fall, and it's nearly sold out at this time. And then we'll be coming up with the other towers as time goes on. So obviously I sold you your Lamborghini. I know how to protect your investment with Lamborghini, right? Yeah. To tell you, okay, Sahar, you should sell now and get a new one or keep it or whatever. Yeah. So do you advise your clients like what to do when they do invest in a pre-construction? Yeah, so you always want to get into an up-and-coming community. And you know, with pre-construction, it's all about purchasing with the power of leverage because like I said, you were only putting down 15% mm -hmm. stretched out over the next three years and you're buying and you're getting capital appreciation on the full 100%. Mm -hmm. So it's a very affordable way for people to put down you know, 5% a year, so to speak. And then they're seeing that appreciation on the full purchase price. So by the time it's built, you know, on a $550,000 condo, it's worth $700, $750. And there's a lot of options at that time. You can rent it out. Um, you can live in it. You can um, sell it on assignment. If you don't want to close on it, an assignment means you sell your room and purchase and sale to another uh, person. And then they basically pay you your profits plus your deposits mm -hmm. and you walk away scot-free. So there's a lot of different options. Wow. It's very flexible. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So it really is a good investment into it. vehicle. Yeah. So we actually have a suite here to give the viewers an idea of yeah. what a future unit would look like. Yeah. Right? So when people are investing a lot of times, like, you know, they're coming from a home, they don't understand what they're like, two bedrooms, 650 square feet. What does that even look like? Like they have mm -hmm. no idea. So this kind of gives them that visual of what they can expect in terms of size. Um, obviously there's many different layouts, but we do have a model suite that we can go and take a look at. Awesome. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Let's go see. 101. <laughs> Hello. Hi oh. guys. How are you? Excited. Hi, Kim. Oh, wow. Awesome. Welcome to our model suite. So this unit here is a six but two bedroom, two bathroom. This is kind of like our starting two bedroom suite and gallery on the park. A 
essentially it's that perfect layout where you have bedrooms on opposite sides of the unit. Oh. Beautiful finishes throughout. You get quartz countertops in the kitchen, yeah. the bathroom, all standard. Uh, integrated appliances, nine foot smooth finished ceiling. Beautiful views. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, let me check out this bedroom. And this is basically the size of what you'd be getting if exactly, you were to yeah. buy it. This is one of the specific floor plans. Sahar, yeah. could you make this work? <laughs> uh, I'd have to turn the second bedroom into my closet. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's really been... nice. It's beautiful. And the finishes are great. I love it. Ooh, nice shower. All right. We're going to need that after the track day. I'm going to be so sweaty. <laughs> Let's check out the other side. So even though it's 650 square feet and it's small, it's very well laid out. Yes. So it has a lot of windows, you have your privacy between the bedrooms. It feels very open. I love that it's very neutral, all the white makes yeah. it feel more spacious. Yeah, okay, so a little bit smaller bedroom here, but still plenty of space. I know a treo would fit fine in here. <laughs> Let's check out this bathroom. Oh, nice big bathroom on this side. Oh yeah, and people who have like city life, like I live in the suburb, you know, with four, right. four animals, a two-year-old, but people who are used to a city life, I think this is this is normal, right? This yeah, is, yeah. What and it's a great to. investment. You get high rent, you know, for small two bedrooms, you still get premium rent, so it's mm -hmm. a good investment. Awesome, for sure. great. Yeah. I'm so excited to see this. So Kim, when you're purchasing a unit like this and it hasn't been built, do you get to have a choice in the finishings? Exactly, that's it. So basically everything here you can customize. So if you want a different color countertop, if you want different color cabinets, if you want different color flooring, all of that's up to you. So it's really customizable. Can we see some of those finishes? Totally. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go. So these are kind of the three standard palettes to choose from. So we've done like a light, a medium, and a dark finishing board. So but is this what we just saw? Exactly. Very similar to this. There were a few upgrades in there, but this mm -hmm. would be the standard. Honestly, in terms of standards in this development, we've gone like full out. You really don't have to upgrade much. It's already beautiful as is. Mm -hmm. But if you want to add in marble or something like that, you can go to the next level. Okay. And does this really matter? when you're investing, do you think it matters or is it just a personal choice? This is just a personal choice. They're all beautiful. Yeah, it's just a personal choice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool though. If someone prefers dark floor or light, I always like the light, but the dark is cool too. I'm sure a lot of men... The light just makes it like look bigger. Feel bigger. You know? yeah. yeah. For a big unit, the dark is stunning. Yeah. Okay. And how big of a unit can you get? I know that was 650 square feet. Mm -hmm. So we have units starting at like 395 square feet all the way up to about 1500 square feet. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. yeah. 3200 square foot terrace. Oh, amazing. <laughs> now you're talking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you want to like live in it for yeah. long term, that might be a good option. Yeah. Awesome. This is so exciting. All right, well, speaking of exciting, let's go check let's out go. your car. Let's go check it out. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so this car, it's so awesome. I absolutely love it. And how has it changed your life? Um, well, the amount of attention that I get is crazy. You <laughs> yeah. definitely can't be texting or anything because every eye is on you. It's you true, know? it's true. Every but eye like would I be see, on you anyway, but then when they see you in a see Lambo. I see everybody like noticing, it's crazy. We've never had that much attention before. And do you find that they're shocked when they see a girl open the door and get out? I think it definitely raises eyebrows, for yeah. sure. You Police know? reported ahead. Oh, oh great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the attention's crazy. It's something people have to get used to because you get a lot of photographs to get. Right. Have you had people, you know, just chatting you up that wouldn't normally because you're in a Lambo? The other day I was on the 401 and I saw somebody with their cell phone hanging out of the window taking a video <laughs> and I thought oh my god this person's cell phone's gonna fall out of their hand they're on the 401 you know <laughs> oh that's hilarious I always have to warn my clients about the attention yeah but you know with what you're doing I think it's a good thing right yeah, for sure yeah, it can only uh, hopefully bring you 
more clients, more success. So it's great. And I right. love I love having like a strong, powerful female yeah. representing the brand. It's awesome. I thought that the car would be like hard for me to drive, but it's just it's so comfortable. Yeah, no. And you know, the perception that I had of the car to where I feel now is completely 180. I know you were super nervous at first. I was first, super right? nervous at first and it's just it's very comfortable. It's almost like having a regular car yeah. which is very powerful. It wait has all the comforts you, uh, of a regular car. It does, but wait till you get to go to track day, you're gonna like open her up and you're gonna yeah. love it. There's a whole nother side of you that we didn't talk about in the interview, but I want to bring it up. You love animals. I love animals. I'm obsessed with the animals. So if I could have my dream come true, it would probably be to have a sanctuary. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. We should do that. Yeah. I would love that. Yeah, and you have you have pets at home? I have pets. I have two cats, but I do volunteer at the Etobicoke Humane Society since the past four years. That's awesome. So, um, unfortunately, it's closed till October in the pandemic, but every Friday, pre-pandemic, we were, you know, um, helping out dogs there. So my shift is from 1 to 5 p.m. So it's like cleaning kennels, you know, uh, giving them medication, feeding them, taking them on walks. And that to me is like such a fulfilling experience. Yeah. We have to have balance, you 100%. know, like it can totally absorb you. And that's never a good thing either. And I think the viewers watching, uh, no matter what you do, I mean, it happens. We become workaholics. And with this society, it's so easy to reach people instantly, right? And you have to take yeah. time for yourself. So whatever it is, you know, spending time with my son, I love to do that you know, spending time with animals, which you're obviously doing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like there's no better way to de-stress than to be around animals. Yeah. So for me, that's like very, very relaxing. And what are the cats' names? Can you... Angel and Deep. Oh, awesome. And they're both rescues as well. Oh, that's so great. I've had one of them for like eight years and one of them for about four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mine are rescues as well. I have uh, Malik and Juicy. And they're dogs? They're cats. Oh, they're cats. Yeah, so I have a Savannah cat, Malik. Okay. Malik is um, 14. Yeah. I've had him 13 years. Uh, Juicy is... This is her trying to... <laughs> All the clients calling to buy condos. So my cat, Juicy, is uh, 13. So they're, they're both senior cats, both rescues. Right. And then I also have two Shiba Inus, they're dogs. And do they get along? So almost all the time, except one of the Shebas, Geisha yeah. and Malik, are both sort of alpha personalities. Okay. So once in a while they go head to head. But otherwise, yeah, it's pretty harmonious. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so glad I was able to share Sahar's story with you. If you'd like to know more about either one of us, be sure to check out the links in the description below. And as always, if you'd like to know more about the Lamborghini brand, be sure to make an appointment with me at Lamborghini Uptown Toronto in Vaughan. Thanks for watching Entrepreneur Showcase, guys. And make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And be sure to turn your bell notifications on so you get notified about more great videos like this. This is Heather Ballantyne, and until next time.